What's going on guys, this is my phone, so I'm bringing you guys some Beast Hawkmoon gameplay uh, on Rumble. But this video is not going to be about Hawkmoon, it's going to be about my top 5 games of E3 2015. Now, most of you guys might disagree with this list. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments what's your top 5. I am pretty sure I'm going to forget some Beast Beast games. Uh, anyways, I am mainly rating these games from what I have seen so far, my impressions of the game so far, and sort of a, how, what I like to call the fun factor, how much fun I think I'm going to be having with the game. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so in number 5 we have Horizon Zero Dawn, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, it mainly just got my attention because it's not every day that you see uh, kind of a, a bow and arrow and you know all these cool gadgets and you using them against dinosaurs, you know, dinosaurs looking things. Uh, I think I'm going to put at least 200 hours into this game and you know, that's not talking about DLC or any of this stuff. Hopefully, 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 please Guerrilla Games. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure they are the developers of Horizon Zero Dawn, but if I'm wrong, make sure to correct me guys. But yeah, hopefully these dudes do not put multiplayer into this game. This game looks like a freaking RPG. Uh, it looks like a, pretty much a single player game and it looks like a game that I'm probably going to put a lot of hours into it. Number 4 was actually on my top 5 list last year as well and it is No Man's Sky. Alright, now honestly, and I'm not getting paid by the developers obviously, but let me just say my thoughts on No Man's Sky real quick, okay? So the developers always talk about how No Man's Sky is a universe filled with many 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 planets all right and I mean billions and billions of planets but this is what I think of that it's mainly going to be there's mainly going to be like 40 planet designs and out of those 40 planet designs they are kind of going to get randomized and that's what they're going to do with the planets so there's going to be some planets that are kind of going to be a similar copy of the same planets uh, hopefully I said that correctly but is that bad? No, you know, and if it's not like that, then that's amazing. That's freaking awesome. And that's what I love about No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is going to be a game where I'm going to put probably 100 hours into it, possibly even more, you know, if my friends play with me. And yeah, I'm going to be sort of uh, discovering new things. Uh, you know, the combat seems promising. The space battle is one of the things that has me uh, most hyped, honestly. I am really looking forward to this game, mainly because of the exploring aspect, you know. I just want a game where, you know, I don't have to kill things or, you know, or I don't have to complete specific objectives. I just want a game where I'm free, you know, where I can do whatever I want. And that's what I love RPGs a lot and that's what you guys are going to be noticing in this list. Anyways, let's move on forward to number three. Alright, now number three on my list, it's Fallout 4, alright. This game looks amazing. Uh, and I really don't care about graphics. It's mainly like I said the fun factor and how the game sort of uh, impresses me But yeah Fallout 4 looks really really promising the customization I've seen it looks really promising Which means you're going to have we have to be collecting stuff now me personally I've never played a Fallout game, but you know what game I have played from Bethesda which they are the creators of Fallout I played Skyrim, you know for how long I've played Skyrim 1000 plus hours uh, so yeah, that's why I know I'm going to like Fallout. Uh, it's literally going to be like Skyrim, just you know, a little bit different. And you know what? I like that. I like different. You know, that's why I have Horizon Zero Dawn in my top five players. That's why I have No Man's Sky because those games are different. Those games are what stands out to me. Uh, I would put Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but we know what to expect from Call of Duty every year. You know, just a shooter. Uh, these games are kind of um, something new, you know, and that's what I like to do. Uh, I mean, I'm not hating on Black Ops 3, because I will be talking about that very, very soon. But anyways, let's just move on forward to number 2. Now, my number 2 spot goes to Just Cause 3. Alright, a lot of people are going to be like, this is crazy. And you know, Just Cause 3 is actually, got, it's really underrated. This year, I feel like they didn't really put a lot of attention to that game. And I don't know why, because Just Cause 2 has the graphics of some PS4 games, which is really, really embarrassing. Because if you think about it, how could a PS3 game that came out almost like five years ago have the same graphics of a PS4 game, you know? And like I said, I don't care about fact, uh, graphics, it's all about the fun factor. And yeah, Fallout, I mean, not Fallout, uh, Just Cause 3 has an amazing fun factor. Just Cause 2 had an amazing fun factor. You could literally go anywhere in a city, start blowing up shit. You could get in a helicopter if you wanted to. I know a lot of people are going to say, um, you know, this game is just going to be explosions all over the place. And they are right. 
it's just explosions all over the place it's just the liberty that if you want to blow something up you can do it it's the liberty that if you want to get five guys with your grapple and then drive them around in your freaking lamborghini in the game you could do that uh, and that's what i love about just cause uh, about just cause 2 and you know and that's what i'm going to love about just cause 3 uh the grappling system it's uh, completely uh, renewed they have a freaking new parachute they have a glide system exploration in that game it's going to be amazing i know at least at least this is a known fact i'm going to put a minimum of 300 hours into that game most likely it will get to 800 hours depending if they drop dlc which i know they're gonna drop dlc it might not be story content but it might even be new weapons and all this stuff and overall i am really all right now my number one you guys are probably thinking it might be call of duty it's a battlefront it's a the last guardian it's not it's the taken king the destiny expansion now a lot of you guys might be pissed but it's all right like i said Make sure to share your top five list with me in the comment section below. I want to know uh, what are you guys' top five. Now, why do I choose the Taken King? Well, number one, I love Destiny. I'm a huge Destiny fangirl. You know, what can I say? When I saw that trailer, I started screaming like a little fangirl. I was like, oh my god! You know, because it's these new experiences in Destiny that, you know, are going to make this game uh, more longer. And it's, it's, it's what's going to give this game a new fun factor, new subclasses. Uh, just the DLC alone has a 40 gigabyte size and people haven't realized this yet Destiny was only like 22 gigabytes when it launched so now we're getting an expansion that's 40 gigabytes we're getting an expansion that's twice the size of Destiny people really have not realized how much content the Taken King is going to have now of course this opinion might change as time passes you know because the Taken King might not have a lot of content but from what I've seen, it looks pretty promising. Obviously, the Taken King in the number one spot is a biased opinion because I am a Destiny fanboy. And, you know, that's why it's going to be on my number one. Uh, but, yeah, I do want to give an honorable mention to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Of course, it's a Call of Duty. We get it. Stop hating in the comment section. No one really gives a shit about what you have to say about Call of Duty. We know you're going to get it. Uh, and, yeah, Black Ops 3, I'm going to get that game. And just like I did with Advanced Warfare, in two weeks, I'm going to reach the max level. And I'm never going to play it again. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, a huge shout out to them. Uh, the game so far looks pretty promising. Hopefully it's as good as Star Wars Battlefront 2 Renegade Squadron, which by the way, I have like 200 hours into that game and it's for the PSP and it has space battles and infantry battles. So that excuse that there's no space battles is bullshit. Because if a PSP game can have infantry battles and space battles, why can't a PS4 game have those uh, two types of battles? It's bullshit, it's an excuse and that's why star wars battlefront didn't make my list now i'm not hating on battlefront i'm most likely going to get it uh but yeah honorable mention to that also honorable mention to the last guardian now honestly i don't i know nothing of that game all right and honestly for me i'm a grown-up i know there's a lot of grown-ups that like that game i think that game is kind of dumb i never played shadow of the colossus i never played the other one and i'm not going to play them reason for that is because i came to the us when i was like nine years old i never really had time to play those games all I did was play games like Double May Cry, Resident Evil, all of these violent and gory games. And that's why I just play Destiny and shooters now, you know? I just shoot people and shit. Uh, but yeah, a uh, huge shout out to that. There's actually a lot of hype towards that game. Uh, and one game that I actually didn't really see on E3, I'm not sure if they put it there or not. It's uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I know for a fact that game is going to wreck. All right, and I'm definitely getting that game. I cannot wait. I'm super excited. I can't wait for this beast to come out. Uh, I know I'm going to put a lot of hours uh, into that game. So I'm probably forgetting a lot of honorable mentions, but those are just mainly the ones that came to my mind right now. Uh, guys, make sure to let me know your top five list in the comments below. I definitely want to hear it. Uh, you know, don't bitch out because I didn't put The Last Guardian in here Because if you bitch out, I'm just going to delete your comment anyway And no one's really going to see it Just let me know your top 5 list, you know I want to see that And yeah, it's mainly, let's just have fun in the comment sections uh, Let's talk about uh, what we liked about gaming this year And all of the good things that are coming to gaming Now, of course, guys, make sure to drop this video a like And uh, make sure to subscribe to the Sabaya Cartel I do upload uh, Destiny content very, very frequently And I'm going to be live streaming Batman Arkham Knight on Tuesday as well. So I definitely recommend that you guys subscribe to the channel and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace